Hello, YouTubers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for being here with Otis and me. We hope you're doing well today. So much is going on and Harry appearing in this Hulu special where he has a, done an extended version of his uh, interview with Will Reeves and he is talking about the Invictus Games and they did this exclusive report and why is this on Hulu? Excuse me, but don't they have a deal with Netflix? What's going on? And everything that Harry is talking about, how they, Harry and, and his wife, they put themselves on these pedestals as if they are these great humanitarians and that they're doing all of this great work on behalf of people that have disabilities, people with mental health, you know, underserved people, you know, people who have been victimized by uh, the press and trying to go after the press. And, you know, there's all of this support that they, they claim to want to give to, to the, the public in general. But at the heart of it, they cannot even be decent people for their own families. They can't be decent enough to, to give basic support to the ones that should be closest to them. And we always have to remember that if you cannot do this for the ones that are closest to you, what makes people believe that you're going to do it for the strangers on the street? <laughs> and I just have to almost wonder how they think they're going to get over on all of this. Because the things that they say, just speaking out the side of their face with the nonsense that they talk really infuriates me because it's nothing but a bunch of lies. And the one thing I wanted to talk about today is Megan doesn't think the royal family's health woes are her problem. That's what she that's what she she feels. This is like okay. They're doing what's happening to them. I'm doing me here in America. And I wanted to look at this article cuz I wanted to talk about it. And, and just look at how Megan is a big problem. And she's going to be a big problem for Harry because his butt looks like he's going to be deported. And he should be deported. And Megan is really only concerned with the things that are going to help her. Nothing that's going to really even help her husband for that matter. Because if she did care, it would be or it would behoove Megan to care what is happening to the royals in the United K Kingdom, considering your husband comes from that country, from that family. So you should care. It's very much in your wheelhouse to care. But it's very telling that she doesn't. Megan doesn't consider the royal family's health issues as her problem, a commentator on the royal commentator on the royals has claimed. So she's written off essentially Harry's family and she has no intention of continuing to be a low profile while the king and Catherine are undergoing their issues, their health issues. She's not trying to make this something that should affect her. But her relationship Want, she still wants to, to be affected in a positive way to the royals in the United Kingdom. That she still wants to hold on to. But if they're going through issues, if the king is having health, health issues, if Catherine is sick, whatever, that, that ain't, ain't my problem. That This is Megan's stance on that. Earlier this month, Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles has been diagnosed, we know, with cancer. We know that he has postponed his engagements. His focus now is doing behind the scenes work, um, doing things, papers that are in his red box. And can we just say that all the lovely cards and well wishes that the king received from people around the world, they say over 7,000 letters and cards and the king, the royal families, PR people, communications department, putting up this lovely video of the king reading some of these cars and seriously moved by these I think was a really nice gesture to show that side of the king and can you imagine the person that has brought these cards that the king has actually shown going through they must be elated to see their card being held by the king so I thought that was really nice and 
I think it's a nice gesture to show that side of the monarchy so that we can see that he is moved and he's experiencing lovely well wishes from from people, strangers. And I think that shows you that the work that you're doing on behalf of the people is really meaningful because when there's a crisis within the royal family, you get these well wishes, you get people wishing you well. And I don't believe that you will ever get these type of well wishes in such a big like bundle as the king has for Harry and Meghan because the work that they do on behalf of people is it's false, it's pretentious, it's not really there to do the work of helping people it's, it's self-serving in a way for them it's really disgusting is in this hulu documentary prince william is being dubbed as jealous of harry's success with the invictus games i mean why would the why would prince william be jealous of harry i mean just look at harry I mean, look at prince william prince william knows he's he's much more together he's going to be the, the he's the heir to the throne Harry is just wanting to make it seem as if William would be jealous because I think he wants William to be jealous. But William has got everything that I believe Harry wants. Harry wants to have the, the, the wife, the, the supportive wife, the one that really does what her husband wants her to do. Megan doesn't do that. She's trying to give opposition to everything Harry is doing and then put her own stink into what Harry is doing with the Invictus Games. So I think it's just Harry coming off wanting to make it seem as if William is jealous of him. But let me just tell you, Harry, William is not jealous of you because William is far better good looking, in my opinion, and has far more success and clout and power and overall good manners, much more an overall better person than Harry. Harry sees his 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 clout going down. So now he wants to attack his brother and make it seem like his brother is jealous. And that could be further from the truth. I don't think nobody is as jealous of you, Harry. If anything, people feel sorry for you. It'd be nice when you wake up to your pathetic situation to see how sorry you are, Harry, because you pathetic. And, the, and Prince William, he knows it. He knows it also claims that Harry's father, King Charles, doesn't have a relationship with his grandchildren, um, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. And whose fault is that? I think it's your fault, Harry. I mean, you're the one that left the country. It's not like they live over in the United Kingdom and the king doesn't have a relationship with them. You left the country. Okay, so if there's no relationship, it's because you left. Really? Duh. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand. So like still trying to say things in this Hulu documentary that is not going to sit well with the royals in the United Kingdom just shows you just more proof that Harry cannot be trusted. Meghan can't be trusted because she's still moving forward. She doesn't care what is happening over in the United Kingdom. She's still moving forward. She's not putting out well wishes. She's not trying to show that she is trying to support Catherine and the king with what Whatever it is that they're going through it's it's just a hot mess now they are saying that it is no it is worth noting that uh, Hulu is only available in the US not in the United Kingdom and it's likely that the documentary uh, that was uh, being aired on um, Hulu was a prerequisite for Harry having this interview on ABC with this ABC interview that he did with Good Morning America uh, for the Invictus Games the one year two event um, and maybe Harry had to sign a release so that they can put this documentary on Hulu but it just begs the question well, then why did you do the interview with GMA? Why did you do this if you had to have it streamed on a, your a competitor's streaming platform? The amount of money involved in the Netflix contract and how it's likely that Harry and Hulu would have to have had to run this by Netflix before making it, there'll be also all kinds of clauses to jump through in the contract. It's also worth mentioning that Netflix previously streamed P Harry's Heart of Invictus documentary last year, which did not perform well in terms of streaming figures. 
and adding how it failed to make Netflix's top 10, it's likely that Netflix had the first refusal on the documentary, then they've passed it on to allow Hulu to now have it. Um, as they are currently focusing on the film Meet Me at the Lake that Harry and Meghan are producing. All I can say is, Harry, you've caused enough problems here in America. It's about time your butt get deported. It's about time we end up looking at what you may have caused in terms of your application and your immigration status here in America, because the DHS is definitely covering up. The Department of Homeland Security is definitely covering up for Harry and his application. But we all know that Trump has said that he's not going to protect them, I think if Trump ends up winning the election that Harry and Meghan, or at least Harry for that matter, can find himself uh, being <laughs> sent back to the United Kingdom. But it's a hot mess. Harry has just put himself in a position that he is not going to do well here in the States. Their their contracts, their, their work, their branding is all over the place. Meghan is a hot mess with her just narcissism and wanting to just do what she wants to do, but still maintain her connection to the Royals while at the same time, not really given two cents what's happening to the Royals and their health crisis is with the, the senior Royals. It's just a mess. And with that, I'm just going to leave it at that and just say that Harry and Meghan are on the path to finding themselves being brought down in a very big way. They're going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying, but I say just get your popcorn, okay? Because Harry, he's in a world of hurt.